All right, we're gonna get this deer skinned out so we can get a shoulder mount. It's a nice buck. So we're gonna make our first cuts on the back side of the legs here and get him skinned out. Now, do you have any tips for a guy dragging a deer out of the woods? Just make sure their hide gets, <laughs> you know, does it get hurt or anything like that? Anything guys should keep in mind? Yeah, you don't want to drag them. Like, if you're going to haul them out with a side-by-side -side or quad or something, throw them in a jet sled or something. Because if you actually physically drag them, even though you're gra dragging them on grass or something, you're still going to burn their hair off the cape. And that's not going to be good for a shoulder mount. So you don't really want to physically drag them by the side-by-side -side or quad. Right. Now let's say you shoot one and you don't find it right away. Um, let's say it's a couple days before you find it. Early season, if it's warm out, like, is everything still going to be good? Like, what, what do people need to do when it comes to that? Well, if you have cold nights, you know, you might be all right, but... Just get it to your taxidermist as quick as you can and they can let you know, you know, get it off and froze or in a cooler or something as soon as possible. All right, so this is the part that guys always have a question on. They don't know where to cut them so they don't mess them up for the shoulder mount. On a shoulder mount, we need all this area. So I stick to the rule of thumb, the white brown line down the back of the leg when you get here you come across back to your gotten mark but stop at the rib cage though don't cut them way up in here because we get guys that cut them all the way through then we have to fix them so it's better off to not have to fix them so we split them here on the white brown line come to this armpit here and then go up back to a v back to your original center cut from when you got any mount. So it's now, pretty simple. I've seen some guys take the the hairline all the way up side here and do two cuts on the side. Um, is that not as good of a way to do it? I don't think it matters too okay. much. I mean, that's just how I do it. Mm -hmm. As long as you're not making a cut in here, you know, you gotta keep back here because we need this for a shoulder. Right. And when you start cutting in there, then we got repair jobs all the time. And it's not a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. We can usually make it work if you don't cut hair. But it's pretty easy. It's nothing to be afraid of. Anybody can do it. And then from here, we just literally tube them all the way. This is the, only, the last cuts we make. We call it a tube cut. That's what I prefer. Not all taxidermists probably, but that's what I like to work with. Some guys tube the front legs, which that's fine too. Then you don't have to worry about it at all, messing it up. But this makes it a lot easier to skin them off when you just put that cut on the back. So is there anything specific you want to make sure people don't do like what have you seen that people have done that like okay don't do that before you bring the deer in or while it's hanging before you take the cape in anything specific um obviously we want to try to keep them clean and dry you know don't try to keep the hair in order and nice so you're not beating up the capes and cutting hair and stuff but when you have them hanging obviously we got them and we all hang them we all wash them out but you can't leave them hanging upside down like this with water or bags of ice in them because all that water catches in their face and it just swells them up like a big old football. And that's not really good. You kind of can risk hurting your cape with all that water. But I don't recommend doing that. Make sure you get all the water out of them if you're going to hang them that way. And then don't hang them with a rope around their neck, preferably. <laughs> that's not real good on the cape. Um, on this part, like I said, we just tube them all the way down, but the neck is the most challenging. It's a slow process. So you don't really get to pull it from here on down. You just have to cut it all the way down. We skin it all the way to the head, and then we'll cut them off at the head. There. Well, you can see I'm the head here. 
his jaws right here. So we're pretty much as far forward as we're gonna get. We're just gonna come in here and make sure you don't cut your cape. Cut through his juggler here. Cut all the way around. Right there, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see that right there. And pop that right there. You should be able to twist him off. Just like that. Hold on. Now, normally you bring that just like that to your taxidermist. They'll cut them off wherever they like it cut, depending on what you're doing for a mount. And you got a cape deer. But we'll show you how to cut it off, like the size we use, to make it a little easier to transport, so you don't have a whole hide if you don't want a whole hide. Yeah, and if you want to throw them in state. the freezer to save space. She can explain exactly how she gets a good... Right here is your front legs. I match everything up, fold them in half so everything's matched. Brisket's here, front legs are there. And I usually step right here, and then I cut them off. So I just go here, get the top of the back. Go six to eight inches behind his legs is what to... And then slice him down like so. Boom, nice. And then Very you good. got yourself a shoulder mount. Very good. A lot easier to transport that way. <laughs> yeah, we don't need this. But if you're not comfortable with cutting him off, we can do that for you for your tax service again. Yeah.